So today is a little bit of a crazy day. I am getting ready right now to go meet Hillary Clinton. Like, what is my life? I don't know. I actually don't know all of the details, but supposedly it's an intimate meeting with Hillary Clinton and some content creators and she just, she's gonna answer some questions that we have and you already know that mama's got a question prepared. And one thing that has bothered me for a really long time um, about the government and our society is that we subsidize meat so heavily. $38 billion a year goes to animal agriculture and to producing meat and milk and eggs and all that. Only 18 million goes into fruits and vegetables. Can we just take a moment and let that sink in? We can live without meat and eggs and milk. However, we really can't live without fruits and vegetables. So it's pretty crazy that the ratio is that extreme and something needs to be done about it. Now, I doubt my question is really going to make a difference. I'm sure she's already fully aware of all of this information, especially considering that her husband, Bill, is vegan or like vegan 90% of the time. I don't think he technically calls himself vegan, but he has been really open about the fact that he eats a vegan diet and that it has changed his life and that it is the reason that he's alive. He had like a bypass surgery or something and then he went vegan after that and he's just been really vocal about how much it's enhanced his life. So I'm sure Hillary knows how much is being spent on animal agriculture and that not only is it extreme that so little is being spent on fruits and vegetables, but the World Health Organization just this past year released a study uh, proving that red meat has a direct correlation to cancer growth. So I'm just, I don't understand our world. It's, it's very backwards. <laughs> now the real question of the day is what the hell do I wear? Guys, I do not have business attire, okay? This is like my very small rack of event clothing. You can see I don't have much. I actually think this looks Quite cute, so yay! I'm not gonna look like a piece of trash. So as I'm sitting here waiting for the Uber to arrive, I'm trying to memorize my question that I've been trying to memorize forever, but I have this thing with public speaking where I could study something for days and days and days, but in the moment, I just lock up and I get so scared and in my head I'm just like, don't fuck up, don't fuck up, don't fuck up that I'm thinking don't fuck up instead of thinking about what I'm supposed to be saying and it it's just, I'm terrified. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Uh, I guess at the very least, maybe I can think of a way to word it not as like wordy. <laughs> so let me test on you guys. Okay, here's my question. In light of the recent reports released from the World Health Organization showcasing the high correlation with red meat consumption and cancer growth, do you have any plans to shift government subsidies away from red meat and towards something more beneficial such as fruits and vegetables? See, I can do it. I can do it with you guys, but I won't be able to do it there. <laughs> so we actually have some time to kill. So we've gotten some coffee. Um, I'm still not sure if I'm gonna ask my question. I was telling them how I get like uh, stage fright and I and I just re turn I your brain off and, s and blurt it out. Just turn it off and blurt it. Oh, off. why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I wish I could I'm just serious. do that. I can't do that. Literally like and then talk. If I did that, that's what my question would be. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, there's people out here already protesting and saying what they want to say. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. All these people outside saying Hillary's murdering babies, abortion, da 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 da. Oh, it's getting intense. There was just a moment where I guess somebody was saying something to a guy he didn't like, and for like literally a minute straight, he went blah 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 blah. <laughs> We were too late to record it, but oh, I wanted to capture it for you guys so bad. RJ's giving pink carpet realness right now. He's working it. He's working it. He's doing it. He's getting it done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
RJ, are you ready to get handled by the Secret Service? I want, uh, I want a burly man to grow me and like, just feel me up. I'm just, mmm, yes. <laughs> Currently waiting to go inside, like the peasants said we are, just queued up. Are you, are you excited for this historic moment? I'm trying not to pee myself right now. Right? I'm just so excited. So all I'm saying is like, even if you don't love Hillary, this is still a very historic moment. It's pretty, yeah. She could be the first female president. We're going in. Ooh. Ooh. This is quite an intimate meeting, I will say. We sit wherever we want. Oh, front center, girl. Front center. I will. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to be the bitch to do this. No, you are no. not. Oh, no, you yeah. Oh, you bet. Hillary has to have her water at a very specific angle. This man has that job. Yep, yep, he got it. He got it right. <laughs> Please join me in a very, very warm welcome. Let's get pumped about this and welcoming the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee, Hillary Rodham Clinton. We are a future oriented society. America's always been about the future and every election has been about the future. So I am determined to say, look, you may not vote for my Trump supporters. I get that because you really are upset about immigration or you're upset about trade or you're upset about, you know, feeling that uh, uh, the, the jobs that you get, you had that gave you a good living are gone. But let's see what we're going to do to try to create more opportunities for you, your children, your grandchildren. So I'm very sympathetic to that. I am not sympathetic to the xenophobia, the misogyny, the homophobia, the Islamophobia, and all of the other. We're sort of dog whistles that Trump uses to create that uh, fervor among uh, a lot of his supporters. So when it comes to economics, we do have to do a better job to create more uh, opportunity and to get incomes rising. Most Americans have not had uh, a raise in 15 years. A lot of Americans haven't recovered from the effects of the Great Recession. So that's real, and I accept that as a real challenge to what we're going to have to do to produce uh, more uh, jobs with rising incomes. The rest of the kind of veiled appeal that uh, he has that included inciting violence, we all saw that, um, that has to be rejected. That is contrary to our values and to how we can get things done as a country. You know, we need to be unified, not divided. We can have differences, I'm sure we do, all of us, uh, but we can't allow those differences to draw big wedges between us so that we are paralyzed and locked in gridlock as has been going on uh, far too long in Washington. We've got to roll our sleeves up and get to work, and that's what I'm uh, trying to present. Well, guys, I bitched out. I was too scared to ask my question, but everyone else's questions were really, really good, and I just felt like mine was not up to par. We're now venturing out to get some dinner. It's just me, Layla, Evelina, Papa Batar, leading the pack. <laughs> I know where we're going, by the way. <laughs> and Cyrus is meeting us there, I think. And this place is vegan Peruvian food. I've never even had Peruvian food to begin with, so I don't know what that's going to be like, but we'll see. Look at this dish. Oh my gosh, how did they cut the potato like that? Wait, that's a potato? Yes, it's all sweet potato. It's not epic. Look at fun! Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Cheeps? Cheeps, get in on this. Cheeps, get in on this. Hi, babies. Look how bulky, guys. How cute is she with her little hands? 
Bookie, are you an otter? Are you an otter? He's so cute. Currently trying to find something to watch on HBO, but you've been doing this for like 15 minutes, so. I'm just gonna keep on going. <laughs> snakes on a plane. Sick and tired of motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> So we're watching the B movie, which I have surprisingly never seen before. And I'm kind of excited because I know it's like the moral of the story is that you shouldn't take honey from bees, which goes along with my, you know, vegan message. So can we ready for bed? Can we ready for bed? Say goodnight, the battery's about to die. Jimmy, the battery's gonna die. Say goodnight. Jimmy never says goodnight. He doesn't talk. <laughs> goodnight. <laughs>